Hello everybody, this is Taco Man 2107 Tech. And today I'm gonna show you how to use D-Band. D-Band or Derek's Boot Nuke is a very handy tool that allows you to destroy all the data off your storage device and it wipes it three times and it's pretty much you can't recover it at all. The reason you would want to do this is because I refurbish computers and maybe the previous owner has some illegal activities on there and you don't want the next owner to see it when you sell it so what do you do? You use D-Ban and it wipes it all away. We're going to be putting D-Ban on a bootable USB. So to make a bootable USB you need a USB, a small program called Rufus, and the ISO for D-Ban. So let's start. I'm going to leave D-Ban and Rufus in the description below. But what you want to do is you want to take your USB, plug it in. Oh, can you get it? Plug it in. And then you see how there's like stuff in this already? Or D-Ban's already on this. But what you want to do is just to show you that when this thing gets wiped, like when you, when you use Rufus, it deletes everything on... The USB so in case like there's anything important you need to get it off the USB before you use Rufus so and D-Ban so push X so open Rufus and the reason I put a photo in there was to show you that D-Ban like um, like it'll be gone basically when I'm done formatting this thing so what you want to do the only thing you want to mess with on here is just select the drive select the file system it's hardy fat 32 because fat 32 is what D-Ban uses, but everything else like is MTFS, I think, like Windows stuff. Um, you can you can change the label if you want to, but click on this little disk right here, and then select D your ISO, which is D-Ban. Click open, and make sure everything changes. Says so because sometimes it changes, but it looks the same. So let's click start. Warning: All data on this device, D-Ban, will be destroyed. To continue with this operation, click OK to quit. Basically, just you already know this is going to happen. It's going to get erased. So click OK. And this process is very short. And as soon as it's done, we can end the video. So, yep, it's really simple. And all you have to do next is just um, plug it into whatever computer you're trying to wipe. And then um, boot from USB. And then the blue screen will pop up and I'll show it to you now. And that's what it should look like. And in that command line, you just type in auto nuke. So yeah. So back to this. See, there's no more uh, photo anymore. So it worked. That's just a test though. You don't need to put a photo in there every time. And now you can just eject the USB and put it in your computer. So I hope this video helped. And see you in the next video. Bye.